Today I'm going to show you the progress of me upgrading my wireless charging box. So I have um, this box right here where I have all my 3DS stuff that I need like for um, reading the NAND or streaming audio, or charging or whatever, replacement parts. So I will show you how I built my wireless charger in. I used to have like a one coil wireless charger in there and I'm going to replace that now with a three coil wireless charger. And I'm gonna make it so that I can use like battery pack to charge it and using the USB port. So I bought, um, this is from like these battery packs that you can buy for your phone. And I had a couple ones, so I put them together. And this is the circuitry from that. So this is just from a phone charger, external charger that I took apart. And this is pr just. A reference guide because most of the parts will differ for you so you have to sort out a little yourself but the idea stays the same you don't even need to build it inside a box or something you could just build it inside wood or whatever like um, this is just a reference guide to show you how I set up the wireless charging in the box and I'm gonna make some switches to toggle between uh, power and battery and to enable or disable the wireless charging system so that the batteries can charge well it doesn't wireless charge the 3DS. I desoldered the coil from the motherboard and I put the shielding on the inside of the box. I'm not sure if that's gonna work but so I put the coils on the outside and I flipped them around because that fit better and put the shielding on the inner side so now I gotta make a hole there and resolder the stuff and then test it out but that's what I've done so far and I will show the progress later when I'm done resoldering it. I found the place for the wireless charge board because this is empty and there will be a battery so there's enough space here. so if I close it it doesn't interfere. So this is the position where I keep that and I move the indicator light to here because it's the front so I can see from the front the light what it does and here's the plate and now I gotta solder these wires to these connectors and then I will try to test out if the wireless charging works so I'll be right back alright so I soldered all the wires from the motherboard to the coil and it's hooked up now so you can see there's the indicator lights right there the coils are here here's the board and if I put my 3DS on top the light turns blue and it charges and the range is amazing these three coils are so much better than the one coil it's so much more stable and I can not lifted very much but that doesn't really matter because it's gonna be on this height anyway but um, this is the basic idea so it's charging now and now we need to clean stuff up and make it look better and build it into the functioning box which is there alright so I cleaned the whole setup up I fixed the wiring up to look better um, put some shrink tube around it and hot glued it in some to some places I had to scrap the idea to use the battery pack because sadly this thing has died so I need a new one because this was a cheap trash thing anyway so for now I just have the negative running from here to a switch to enable disable and later I will make this other side charge the battery and use the battery power instead of using the USB port and this is just a temporary plus so this is how it looks for now and um, for the other side what you have to do is as you can see I use double sided tape and put it around the coils and then I put just some tape here but I made like these rubbers that you put on the chairs and stuff so it bumps up so the 3DS will fall into place on there so it doesn't if I put the 3DS on top you can see it stays in place and that will make it wireless charge because it will be in the correct position so for now this is what it looks, so if I open the door this is what you see and if I close the lid, nothing. well let me get the hinge back because it's popped out. Alright, so if I put the 3DS on top, still hasn't focused, I put the charger in. You can see it start charging, if I take it off it turns red. I'll probably change the colors as well to green so 
But as you can see, my box is wireless charging. For now, not with a battery, but I can't really change that for now. So I hope you at least could make a wireless charger. Thanks for watching. Bye.